Hello, everybody. Um, we're gonna do a diagram because I promised one. So here we got our solar dehydrator. Can you see that? Okay. Um, this is the card that I pulled yesterday on my show. Well, I recorded the show yesterday. I'll probably release these about the same time. Um, anyways, so solar dehydrators. We were talking about them. Um, they're a really useful way, a very very cheap way to use solar energy um, to uh, to to preserve food. Uh, which is uh, super important um, and uh, any way that we can reduce our energy usage uh, we can uh, that that's a, a big step towards harm reduction to the uh, to the earth the less energy we use uh, the less impact we're gonna have right so anyway solar dehydrator it's pretty uh, simple concept um, forgive my drawing skills here uh, but basically there it, it's comprised of two parts there's the solar collector and we'll draw that here um, and uh, its job, oh, that line is not straight at all. But anyways, it's this little box, right? Um, and uh, this part here is open, you know? We'll just draw some little bent holes in there. Um, and then this, look, this frame can be built with uh, almost anything, um, wood, uh, PVC piping, um, anything that's really straight you know, pieces of metal, whatever, it's a, it's a great project for scrap. Um, so that's that. And then you also have um, the drying chamber, um, which is uh, basically like a little uh, little kind of hut deal going on here. Um, and uh, you can make these as, as fancy or as, as, uh, as simple as you want. Um, uh, let's actually make that a little bit bigger, you know, so it actually, you know, fits my panel here. Okay, anyways, let's just, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, you've got this thing, um, and it's filled with trays. And so you can pull the trays out and uh, put your food on them, dried fruit, meats, um, vegetables, anything you want to dry out, um, dehydrate for storage uh, or for later consumption. You know, dried fruit is great. Um, dried meats, jerkies, you know, things like that you can you can do in this thing. So basically the way that it works um, is there's an air path in here, a sealed air path. And so it's uh, it starts here, so it's open here. So this is nice cold air and it moves up. Look at how fancy we're getting. And it warms up as it moves up this panel. Um, and it does that because this panel um, is uh, usually black there's a number of ways you can build it. You can make it out of uh, clear plastic that's been painted black um, or a dark black, whatever, piece of metal. Anything that's really dark that will absorb the sunlight. And you can make it with pop cans in a really effective design that I could probably go into. There's also videos on it. Um, and uh, it's a basic concept of a solar heater. So air gets warmed up, heated in this air path. Um, and then inside this chamber, um, all that nice warm air comes down through the trays. Um, and uh, it comes down and it brings all the moisture away from it and then there'll be um, there's a, a, a chimney path um, at the bottom and it'll go out the side and up um, and this whole thing um, can be uh, naturally powered um, so just the, the power of, of convection would make this whole system work um, or you can add a couple of fans might make it a little more efficient or something yeah, that's the basic solar dehydrator. A really powerful tool for food storage, um, for food preservation, and it requires little to no um, energy input. Um, if you do add a fan to it, it can very easily be powered by uh, a, a small solar uh, photovoltaic um, cell. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be uh, making more in the future. Dehydrator, just in case if you forgot. I hope I'm spelling this right. Um, solar dehydrator. Yeah, in a nutshell, it's uh, it's a real simple design. Cheap. You can build it out of almost anything. Uh, you know, I'm sure. You, uh, I don't have a lot of scrap around, but I'm sure I could put one together for a couple of bucks. Um, you know. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers.